Oh, we didn't change shirts. Hey, Hungry Parents, we're back with more videos from Yay. the School Year Survival Guide Cookbook. Um, and this is a recipe that uh, is one of Laura's favorites. It this really is, is her recipe. Look, this is her making it in her book. That's, that's me without my hat. <laughs> um, and the great thing about this recipe is it makes a double batch, which we live for. Yes. So when you make this, you get some in your fridge or the freezer for another time. And then we wanted to give you another option because we yes. know that you need options. We're gonna make mini sweet potato shepherd's pie. I created it one winter when it was a polar vortex, mm -hmm. and it's very non-traditional, this shepherd's pie, not only because it uses a sweet potato, but the seasonings is a combination of chili powder and cumin and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So okay. it really appeals to children, and Scarlett, this is one of Scarlett's favorite dishes. You can buy phyllo cups that are teeny little guys that are pre, like, it's almost like a mini quiche cup. To be honest, we thought that's what we had on set, but we didn't. So we're rolling with it, just like you guys roll with it. Yeah. And we're gonna MacGyver our own. And so this is something we used to do for quiche, actually. Mm, and you yeah. just buy, yeah, did you forget that? No, was, but I was just, it just made me realize that was the very first video we It was made. our very first video. And you can buy whole wheat regular phyllo dough, and then you take the sheets, you oil Ta -ta. them, you oil your, your little muffin mini tin? muffin tin, and quite frankly, everything should be made in a muffin tin because yeah. they're perfect portion sizes. So you can just pop one out, throw it into the lunchbox, call it a day. And you're just gonna bake this Really quick, right? Yeah, yeah, because all the elements are already cooked. Your beef is already cooked, you're sweet going potato. In. No, 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 no. First, we've got to fill them. Oh, I thought we baked these first. No, 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 no. Oh. And so I've got my mashed sweet potato here, and it's got butter and salt and a bit of milk so in there. Should I pull this over? And I knew when I tell you this that you're going to say, why is she doing that? Why is she putting it in a bag? When Where I know are you're you gonna... putting it in the bag. Honestly, guys, do this, do this. I've got a, my Pyrex, I've put just a sandwich bag in here. It's not a fancy piping bag. This is something your kids could do. Scarlett loves doing this. You seal it, you take your kitchen shears, mm. you just clip the bottom, and then honestly, you think it's not gonna be quicker, you think this kind of action is gonna be, it's not. This gets all over the place and you're fussing with it, you're cleaning the spoon, it's a disaster. So I'm gonna have Carrie fill our beef mixture into our cup. Um, we really love the idea of dinners that become lunches, mm -hmm. right? Because we really always want you to get the most out of your time in the kitchen because we know from when we talk to parents, which we do all the time, that school lunches can be the thing that just breaks their breaks soul. The soul. So if you can start thinking about dinners as an opportunity to become lunches, it kind of takes that edge off, that extra prep you've got to do. Yeah, and it's maximizing your time in the kitchen, which is really the name of the game, right? Like, yeah. make one visit to the kitchen yield two meals at least. least. Always. And once you start thinking of that, you'll realize you kind of switch over and... You start doubling recipes. And it's why actually in our book, all of our recipes, we call them super yielders. They're not really yeah. just yielding a serving A typical four. family of four. Tell us in the comment below. Now I'm doing this. See? Which leftovers your kids like to see in their lunch boxes. Okay, you I'm gonna say I see your point. Right? Yep. Don't you, don't you. All right switch between six spoons when you're doing this and you're yeah, like, wait, yeah, that yeah, one's yeah. not working. Yeah, yeah. We've got them topped. Cute. We've got our oven preheating to 350. Yeah. Like I said, you just, the, all the elements in this dish are already cooked. All you're, you're really, really doing just... is crisping up that phyllo and warming everything through. Exactly. Ready now? Ready. Ready, Freddy? Okay. Okay. And it goes, how long is it gonna go in there for? It's gonna go in for about 20 minutes. But keep an eye on it because you want that phyllo to crisp up, obviously not burn. Pro tip, <laughs> don't burn it. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. We're not gonna let them see it? Oh, okay, come on. <laughs> Look at those little babies. Okay, like we said, these are perfect little individual guys. Once they're cold, look how easily they come right out. You can pack one or two in your child's lunch, maybe three if you've got one of those kids who just... Super eaters. Super eaters. And then you can also freeze the rest. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss a video. 
or a dinner. Lord knows you don't want to miss dinner. Yeah. You need something to leave yeah. for the babysitter. You pull a couple you, out. She, you, because you know she can't cook. So they always say they can cook. Mm -hmm.